Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. In this video, what we're going to be doing is checking out Linux Mint 20.2. Uh, this is a beta release, but it is going to be coming out fairly soon. Now, Linux Mint is absolutely, let's switch over here. Linux Mint is one of my favorite Linux distributions. Uh, it's the second one I ever used, and to be frank, it is the one that got me uh, always coming back to Linux because whenever I would uh, switch from Windows to Linux, it was always the default I would go to for probably the last 10 years or so until the last year when I really started tinkering around tinkering around with it. Uh, so in this video, we're just going to run over some of the new features. And one of the best ones is Warpinator. Now we covered Warpinator a little bit when we went over the Linux Mint 20 from 19 to 20 release, but now it is at a point that it is working really, really well. So I'm going to switch back to this camera real quick. I have Warpinator, I'm trying to get this in the shot without all my fingerprint smudge. But this is the application, and then we can see it here on the screen. It works pretty good. It's just like uh, KDE Connect, but with a lot less, not less, well, yeah, with a lot less features. Uh, it's a very simple application that you can use to send and receive files. So you can't really see exactly what I'm doing, but if I wanted to go ahead and send myself a file. I just go ahead, hit this little button right here to send a file. And let's say I want to send a different image. Brings up all my images. And then let's say I wanted to send this one. Then over here, we can see if I move my little window, we can see that it is asking me if I want to accept or decline the incoming file. I'll go ahead and accept it. And then from here, I can open up the folder and this is the file that I went ahead and sent myself. So it's working pretty good. This is the other one. Uh, I'm very proud of this thumbnail. <laughs> That's the other file that I tested out just to make sure it worked before I started recording. But Warpnator, very welcome feature, very cool. And it works very well on this application. And I even got it to work. This is in VirtualBox. And I just had to go and change my network adapter and it worked out of the gate completely fine. So I'm really happy about that. Now, next up in the actual uh, update manager, so let's go ahead and go to that update. We're going to be able to get our Cinnamon updates. Um, this is the Cinnamon version that I'm going over. Uh, I'll link down below if you're interested in the KDE or uh, XFCE versions. But here, if I go ahead and refresh, it'd be cool if there are actually updates. Uh, there's a new version of the update manager. Let's go ahead and refresh and see if there's any uh, of the actual cinnamon updates, which that would be cool to actually be able to show you guys. There we go. I had to actually go and update the uh, manager here. And so the, the type right here is what I'm talking about. So let's see if there's any of those spice updates. It's called updating the spice, but that's what it's called. Uh, I'm not seeing any that I can actually show you as an example, but I'll bring in the image on their homepage real quick just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So it's pretty cool that they're integrating those uh, spice, the cinnamon spice updates uh, within this update manager. Another thing, if you are familiar with Linux Mint, you'll notice down here the actual update manager kind of has a little refreshing look. Uh, if I go over to preferences and if I go to automation, here we have the actual package update, so I can apply updates to be automatic. And then down here we have the option to update flat packs automatically. And then right here is where you update those cinnamon spices automatically. So we could go ahead and select that. And that's pretty cool because I think the, the flat packs update automatic thing was somewhere else where it didn't really make too much sense, but it's cool that that is added into the actual preferences in your update manager. Now with all of that said, let's talk about another new application they went ahead and added. If I go down over here and I search the word bulk, you can see right here we have an application called the File Renamer. This is wonderful, uh, primarily for somebody like me or maybe somebody like you who runs a media server or hosts your own media server. Uh, a lot of the times you want to go ahead and rename something or like add certain dates at the end of movies, things like that. That's an actual use case I can see myself using with this. Uh, the example they went ahead and used in the update was finding uh, applications with the name doc and replacing it with document underscore. That's another example. And this is an awesome tool. And being that this is Linux, you're probably going to be able to get this uh, file renamer tool no matter what distribution you're running. So I am looking forward to that. Now, next up, we have sticky notes. So if I go ahead and go over to notes, 
these are our sticky notes. Now this reminds me a lot of the sticky notes that were uh, shipped out with Windows Vista, but it's pretty cool because not only can we put them on here, we'll put them onto our desktop and like this is a note. And then we have options to color it. So let's say I wanted that to be green, kind of match the system. I don't like that green. Let's go orange. Uh, you could do the coloring. You could do some font stuff, uh, checklist button, strike through, underline. We can add a new note. So that will bring up a note right here. And you can see that as I do all these notes, it goes ahead and adds them down here. You go ahead and resize them if you'd like to, either sideways or down. And if we hover over here, we have this little pencil icon. If we go ahead and tap on that, we can give them uh, actual names. So note one. And then you can see down here, it goes ahead and adds that. And then you don't have to really use these to manage that. You could do it all down here. So you can add notes like this and it will throw notes all over your screen. So if you're somebody who likes this, this is a pretty cool little feature. And then right here, you can see there are different groups. You can give the groups a name. If I click right here, new groups, remove groups, uh, backup, restore, import, export. Right here under preferences, we have some options. So for example, here we have the show notes on all desktops, show in taskbar. So if I go ahead and en enable that and we look down here, I can actually toggle on and off those uh, notes. It looks like it's moving them around. I wonder if it's supposed to. Oh, oh. If I right click down here, we can see we can quit it. We have group one. We can manage the notes and go to new notes. If I go to manage notes, it's going to open up this application here and close this out and have all my notes on the desktop. However, you would like them to be all over the place. Uh, if I click it, it toggles them off. If I click this, it toggles them back on. So that is cool. And then if you right click, you could go ahead and have you, uh, what group you want to actually show, or you could just quit out the application altogether. And if you want to bring your notes back up, you just go notes and there is everything. Absolutely beautiful. Now, speaking of like cinnamon specific updates, let's go ahead and quit out of here. So right click quick. If we open up our file manager here, the search functionality now it uh, used to always let you search for files, but now you can actually search content within the files. So that's nice. So let's go ahead and close this out. Another thing they added, uh, let's go file properties or where's preferences. Do we have preferences here? Ah, there it is. Preferences. Okay. So there is an option to let you sort your favorite files before all your other files. So that way the things you actually have favorited will show up at the top. So that is another little thing they added. And in this video, we're really just scraping the surface of some of the things that have been updated. I will link in the description to just about everything. Uh, there's even more stuff with the Cinnamon Spice updater. There's been some overwhelming system improvements throughout the entire thing. So I do recommend you go ahead and check that out and read all the different updates, especially if you're somebody who likes and is into Linux Mint. Linux Mint is definitely a great distribution, whether if you are an advanced Linux user or if you are just getting into it and you want to try something out. Other than that, there's not really huge improvements either visually or with the applications that are included other than what we've looked at so far. I do believe there was a, some improvements in the applets and how all this works, especially with updating everything. But this is basically how you go through and kind of customize you, um, your Cinnamon desktop environment. But with all that said, I do hope that you enjoyed this quick little overview of the changes in Linux Mint. If you're interested in downloading the beta, just like with all the updates and the changelog, basically, there will be a link in the description. Uh, with all that said, I do hope you all have a beautiful day and goodbye.